Yep. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the session. Uh, today, we are joined by Payal. And Payal was one of our past students, and she has successfully got into this profession of data science. And now she's working with one of the big four companies, which is Deloitte. Out of the big four companies, Deloitte is once again number one. And I'm sure as part of your induction, they would have told you, Payal, that all the Fortune 100 companies are clients of Deloitte. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the best part. I'm extremely happy for you. And uh, Payal, um, so here's the first question for you. Can you explain on how your learning started, given that you were from non-IT background, biotechnology background? And despite that, you got into data science. It takes a lot of commitment to do that. So can you throw some more light on that, please? Sure, Vani. First of all, uh, hello, everyone. And the thing, like, I never thought I would be in IT anyhow. But uh, after, uh, there was a gap of four years after my BE engineering, that too in biotechnology, as you mentioned. So when I came to Hyderabad, I was working in an NGO for three months. And then I, I just, I was going to the office, came back, and I felt that there is no such growth in this in this field. So I was looking for options, but I didn't find any much. I was scared to go to data science course. Only reason was I was from a non-technical background. I never had uh, any programming skill. But then when I there were multiple websites that I visit. Then I came to 360. At that time, it was XLR, but now it's like uh, I'm very happy that uh, we came till here. It was a great journey. Now, from there, I contacted Ganesh. He explained me everything there. From there, I they you were there. Sharath was there. Nitin was there. Everyone who actually guided me through all my journey during the data science. It was very difficult, uh, honestly, I'll say. Why? Because uh, being from a non-technical background, when you don't know what is coding and what errors are there, even one-line coding was not uh, not possible for me, I'll say. It was not like that I couldn't do. I didn't know. So from there, I started. I started with theory, the statical, statistical analysis. Then uh, we went through a lot of topics like where I... I had many questions which were answered by the mentors. And whenever I felt like uh, I haven't been, uh, means I had some more doubts that it's not clear. I came to you as well. I I think so. I have came to you once or twice. But after that, I'll say during this course itself, uh, I used to sit for hours after the classes to understand the things. And it used to take me like twice or thrice go through the sessions and then go through the assignments that, uh, and when something, when I'm stuck at some point, I'm like, I was, I used to uh, just look into the, look into my desktop for hours and not understand what, the, what it is. But I am really happy from there. I reached here that I came to Deloitte. I'm working as not designated as a team lead, working as a consultant. But uh, in my last project itself, I have led a team of seven people. So I'm That's really so ha wonderful. happy. I'm really helpful. I'm really grateful to uh, 360 for this. That uh, I'll say it was my first and foremost place that I reached. And from there, it was like, I never needed anything more to go for self, uh, to go for learning anywhere else. From there, I have started, I have referred to the learning materials a lot. Number of times where I, in my uh, last company, IV Comtech as well, because mm -hmm. I was working as a data engineer there. Okay. Uh, we had Tableau course as well, along with data science. And I was working in Power BI, but still that Tableau visualization also helped me there. Because uh, I was asked that whether you know any one of the visualization tool or not. If yes, it will be very like easier to go to understand the other two. And it actually was. I worked there for nine months. I had a great journey there as well. Worked on multiple dashboards, created them, uh, talked to the clients. And then I came to Deloitte in 2022 March. Wonderful. 
So you are playing the role of a team lead. That in itself is a proof that you are scaling exceptionally. Good, yeah. uh, Pyle. I'm extremely happy for you for that. And a few things that you told were really interesting. That you know what? Don't confine yourself only to the training duration. Post training set, you know, revise. Sit in the uh, you know office and then practice so that if you have any questions, if there are people always available. Right. Thank you, Kanchan. And second question is, uh, you have done internship as well, right? You have worked on the live projects through Innovator Takes. What was that journey like, and how did how did that help you, uh, Pai? Um, as I'll say, uh, during my internship, right? I actually I uh, I don't know whether people know or not, but you definitely know that I worked. At- as a, I actually got into uh, 360 as a student. I learned data science there. I learned uh, machine learning. I did my intern. I did my project there as an internship. I went to a different company for six to seven months, and then I came back to 360 as an intern again for around six, six to eight months, and then I turned to an employee as well there. Where I worked for three to four months. I and what I'll say importance as a when I was working as an intern uh, student, I, I can give you like three different uh, scenarios here. When I was working, uh, learning as a student, I knew that, okay, this is my course. This has been taught like for one of the model I have been taught today this. And they are giving me some question related, some assignment related to that model and I'll have to copy. So I know that I can refer to the codes. I know that I can uh, refer to the videos again and go to Google because there are multiple uh, either the same uh, questions I'll say or similar type of question. So we know that there are things where we can refer and then uh, complete our assignment. And that is not all because once we are completing the assignment, it's not like uh, it's end of the world. We have finished that. That means uh, my bad. My bad. Sorry. So uh, It was not like uh, I know everything about that. It was just like, okay, I had to complete this in time. I was a student. I had one example that I finished referring to different study materials. But when I worked as an internship, uh, as an intern here, so I was assisting Sharat and Nitin both. So it was like whenever they used to give me some task, like some requirement, project requirement, for me, first of all, the thing was like, I'll have to, first of all, collect the data, analyze the data, find the hidden patterns, and then not, not directly go to the codes or like uh, building the models, but first learn about the topic, like learn about the main requirement. If it's medical something, uh, I think you you would remember we have talked about that clinical data trial, right? That got uh, yeah, XML yeah. data. Right? Mm-hmm. There were, that was a, I forgot that uh, we had word cloud. Yeah. Yep. So there as well, we didn't, we didn't know, we never worked in XML, but you, but you actually uh, uh, had a confidence on us and you gave me and Sajanya, I remember her as well. Yep, yep. So we both worked as a team and there we got to know because there were multiple, uh, like uh, multiple files, I'll say, so much of data, we couldn't go through all the, that data. But yes, when we know that it's a clinical trial related to a disease or where we need to know, like what are the highlighting parts? That is what the word cloud does. It will give you a brief idea about everything in the data. So we just, we went through a few articles, like how does that particular uh, disease is related to what is the diagnosis and what can be the treatment? And what are the uh, like pros and cons, everything? What are the effects? What are the faculties? Uh, casualties, my bad. So uh, at that point, it was like, okay, we are helping them, not helping, I'll say, uh, I'll say assisting them. That's a proper word that, okay, this is our work. We have done this much of analysis. Now it's up to them what kind of model they'll be making or whether it should be a model or uh, what can be done to the next level. Like we provided you the word cloud. Now it was your, I mean, it was completely your responsibility or you know what to do next. But now when I work in the real life uh, project, I know that I'll, uh, when I have a project, first of all, I'll have to uh, like uh, 
the client first of all it is a client facing role so first of all we'll be con the we'll be confronting with the clients on day to day basis if not day to day basis alternate days um, now i i remember that in my deloitte project or in my last company project as well on uh, alternate days we definitely used to have that uh, calls or uh, the uh, at least the updates where they used to ask us first of all they would give us the requirement and now it is completely on us now we have learned okay collecting the data analyzing data it takes time but uh, the professional aptitude that we learned in internship actually came in work here and also the i'll say the uh, deadline point uh in real uh, real world projects there is a deadline uh, pressure always you will right. have to manage that if not you will have to convince your client that you are doing this work which will take some time and this is a quality work that's why it is taking time that is one of the thing so that is first of all i found the difference between the real world project next thing is that because we are uh, i was working as a fresher from the non technical background to technical it's only 3 uh, 3 uh, three years experience for me and actually even my husband and his colleagues my colleagues are so much amazed that i'm working as a consultant level that people do not do people at 6 to 7 years experience work as a consultant and and i if i i'm not sure but i am hoping that 2024 might be my year where i can become senior con as well senior consultant so that is what happens like when you know i told you guys that i am leading a team i was leading a team so i used to be with the managers on day to day basis providing them the updates having the if there is some like the some tasks that uh, needs to be done on time not only mine my teams i had to take it upon me if it is delayed why it is delayed not only to our managers the lot people but also to the client and convincing even then our work is not done we'll have to finish the work as well only thing is that we are buying some time from that mm-hmm. so that is one of the thing that i felt the greater difference wonderful wonderful pile so your experiences of internship wherein you dealt with timelines and understood the business problem etc is helping you a lot because you are now in a client facing role usually people don't put someone in client facing role until unless they are confident about that person right good i am extremely happy because i work with delight i understand uh, about the timelines and all that you know and um, one last question pile so if you were to give one single most important suggestion to all of us students on how to get into this field of data science then what would that be uh it would it won't be a suggestion like one or two liners i would like to say it uh, in brief but kind of three to four lines it's like first of all be patient Uh, just learning the course or go, uh, finishing the assignments you cannot think that uh, projects uh, or uh, interviews will be uh, pouring on to you the thing is that i uh, i did my internship from 360 in 20 20 i finished it i worked in two startups uh, because i wanted to learn and as zero years experience you won't get in companies like deloitte level everyone knows that Uh, you need at least one or two years experience until you are a fresher i was not a fresher i had a four years of gap so i worked in startups where i i was hardly earning anything or i was not i was like working as an intern only but in a permanent role uh, so first of all wherever you are getting a chance don't lose it try to learn from every experience then the second thing is once you get something be passionate about your job okay means whatever you are doing at, unless you love that thing you won't be able to uh, give your best to that job and third thing is like uh, don't take a lot of stress that is what happens when we enter as a fresher to any corporate uh, any corporate environment whether it's uh, cognizant or the i'll say deloitte or any other company as well Uh, here what happens when we come as a fresher we have a lot of uh, pressure in our mind that 
okay uh, my manager has said or my team lead has said and even if i don't know i'll have to finish that work i cannot ask anyone or that should not never be the case if you don't know anything communicate with your with your colleagues or with your seniors let them know that you don't know ask them people are always happy to guide you they will be always happy to guide you to because they want their work done and that too the work should be good it's not like uh, okay it shouldn't be a garbage right it should never be a garbage you should learn and then because next time this experience will be coming as well it means uh, will actually help you so from one thing now next thing is even if you there are times when uh, people are hard on you people are rude to you but just take it as uh, like take it in a positive manner and just go on things definitely go positive because i as i told you uh, after uh, going through the internship turning into a full time employee in 360 i worked in a startup which is now closed shut down being very honest after that i worked in one of the education training uh, only but that was a part time because i was not i didn't had that much of time i had some personal issue and then i i got an offer from iv comtech which i never knew was a very good company until i joined people told me that uh, maybe there was something that uh, it was a coincidence but that actually gives your resume a very means it's a, it it gives you a resume weightage because it's a very good company we don't know but it is now from iv i left iv and i joined deloitte and i want to be here one more thing is that i this is my first company deloitte where i want to be there uh, working for 3 to 4 years only thing is that because i love this company second thing is that i have never worked in any of the company for more uh, for around a year as well this will be my first company in march which will i'll finish first year so this is like fourth year of my id background so that sure, sure. you will continue you will continue for sure because delight is a company <laughs> If you join once, you would not quit because the work culture is very good. Of course, you yeah, have very... tough people to face because they have, they will have client pressures and timelines and all that. So, all the best for your career, Payal, and thank you so much for spending time and uh, sharing all these insights on how to become a successful data scientist. Yeah, thank you so much and all the best. And nice meeting you again. Thank you, Barney. Thank you. Thank you.